In this video, we're going to have a look at how to calculate the volume of prisms and cylinders. So the volume is the amount of space that is within a 3D solid shape. Unlike area, when we are measuring volume, we measure it in cubic units of measurement. So that could be millimetres cubed, centimetres cubed, metres cubed, or kilometres cubed. Now the general formula to calculate the volume of a shape is volume is equal to the area of the base times the height of the shape. So a key component of calculating the volume of a prism is being able to identify the base of the volume. Now the base is also referred to the cross section of the shape and we call it the cross section because no matter where you cut it along the shape, the cross section should be the same if you are cutting into the base of the shape. So for the rectangular prism, the base can be along the bottom of the shape. It can also be any of the sides of the shape, but that is just for a rectangular prism. For a triangular prism, the base is the triangular end of the shape. And for a cylinder, the base is the circular top or circular bottom of the shape. And for each of those shapes, no matter where we cut it along, we are always going to end up with the same shape. So for a triangular prism, we are always going to end up with a triangle on the end, no matter where we cut it, if we are cutting into the base. And for a cylinder, no matter where we cut it along the side of the cylinder, we are always going to get a circular base that is the same. The other key measurement that you need when calculating the volume of a prism or the volume of a cylinder is its height. Now the height is going to be from the base of the shape to the top of the shape. So once you've identified the base, you'll be then be able to identify the height. So for my first shape, the cylinder, the base is going to be along the bottom. So the height is running from the base up to the top. Now the base and the height doesn't change even if the shape is laying on its side. So looking at my second cylinder, the base is going to be the circular end and the height is running along the bottom. So even though the cylinder is rotated 90 degrees, the base and the height are still in the same spot, therefore also just rotated 90 degrees as well. So for my triangular prism, for the first one, the base is the triangle on its end, and the height is running from the base of the shape up to the top. In the second example, the triangle base is on the end, and again, the shape has been rotated 90 degrees. So this time, the height is running along the bottom of the shape. So it's important to remember that the base and the height doesn't change even when the shape is not standing with the base on the bottom. The height is always going to be running from the base of the shape up to the top, even when the 3D shape is on its side. So we can modify the general formula of volume equals area of the base times the height of the shape for some specific shapes based on what we know about the area calculation of their base. So the first one is the volume of a cube. And the volume of a cube, instead of using area of base times height, we can use volume is equal to the length cubed. For the volume of a rectangular prism, we can use the formula volume is equal to the length times the width times the height of the prism. For the volume of a triangular prism, 
we can use volume is equal to the base times the height of the triangle divided by 2 times the height of the prism. And we'll use a small h for the height of the triangular base and a capital H for the height of the prism. And for the volume of a cylinder, we can use volume is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height of the cylinder. Now you'll notice in these formulas what we are doing is we are incorporating the area of the base into the formula. So for the volume of a rectangular prism, the area of the base is going to be length times width. For the volume of a triangular prism, the area of the base is going to be the base times the height divided by 2. And for the volume of a cylinder, the area of the base is pi times the radius squared and then we times each of the area of the bases times height. So instead of using the general formula of area of base times height, we can use these formulas when calculating the volume of these specific shapes. So have a look at some of the individual videos for examples of how to calculate the volume of some of these shapes.